Hey everyone, Matt Seuss here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run Luminar 3 with no image catalog library. Now, why exactly would you want to do that? Well, maybe you started off and you have too many photos inside of Luminar and it's not running really good. Or maybe the digital asset management features of Luminar are not up to speed for you yet. You want to use keywords and Luminar 3 doesn't use keywords right now. So you just don't even want to deal with an image library at all, but you still want to use the editing powers of Luminar 3. Well, I'm going to show you two different ways where you can set it up. One is if you haven't even installed Luminar 3 at all yet. And the other way is if you already have installed Luminar 3, I'm going to show you what you can do to clean things up so that you don't have your image catalog. Let's go ahead first and let's fire up Luminar 3 here. Now, I didn't install Luminar 3 at all yet. So we're going to be presented with a welcome screen and then it's going to ask you where you want to store your library and where you want to get your photos from. So click on this let's get started and right over here this is important so you want to tell Luminar where your photos are now probably a lot of people you know you just hit the next button over here and went right ahead with getting all the photos that are in your photos library because that's where it defaults to it's in your pictures library where Luminar wants to first pull in all of your photos. So unless you hit this modify button, you probably have all your photos from your pictures library inside of Luminar. Or you may have hit that modify button and you set it up to do an external hard drive that maybe has like 100,000 photos in it and now Luminar is running really slow and you just want to just start off from scratch. Now I'll show you guys what to do in just a moment here, but if you're one of the others who are just starting from scratch, just starting to load Luminar 3 on your computer, what I recommend doing is clicking on modify and changing the location of where you want Luminar to pull in photos. Now what I did was on my desktop I created a folder called incoming and we can see here that there is absolutely nothing in this folder. This is really cool because what's going to happen is by me selecting that folder Luminar is going to look for photos in there it's not going to find any and then when it opens up we're not going to have any photos at all in our catalog. So I'll just go ahead and click on next and keep on cycling through all of these screens here and click on let's go. And now we can see we are inside of Luminar. I have a folder called incoming, but there are no photos at all inside of it. Now that I have this set up like this, I can go ahead and click on file and click on open images for quick edit if I wanted to do some quick editing on photos it's not going to be stored in the library at all or anything like that and let's take a look at that real quick I'll click on open images and let me go ahead and go to one of my drives here and I'll just grab a quick photo here at random open this up I can go I'm in edit already give this a little bit of accent AI a little bit of vibrance and saturation now that I've made some changes if I go back to my library it does put it in this quick edits folder. It's a shortcut and it's a virtual folder. Now let's take a look at if you already have photos in there and you just want to start from scratch. You don't want to have any photos at all. What I'm going to do is quit out of Luminar. I'm going to navigate to where my catalog is and for my case it's in my pictures folder under Luminar catalog. Now you can go ahead and delete this folder if you want. It is going to delete any star ratings that you've done on your photos and any history that you've done on it too if you've done any editing on your photo. But that's probably not too important to you anyways because you just don't want to have a library in Luminar 3 right now. So you can delete that. I'm just going to go ahead and rename that. And instead of Luminar Catalog, I'm just going to rename it Luminar Catalog 2. Now watch what happens when I go ahead and open up Luminar 3. It has no idea where the catalog was, the catalog that it was just using. So I'm going to click on Use Default Catalog, and we can see here in the background what it did was it created a new folder called Luminar Catalog, but when we come into Luminar, I have no folders, so it's not indexing any of my photos at all. So it's just like before where we did the install fresh and clean into just a folder that had no photos into it. Now we don't even have any fo folder in here at all. So now again, just like before, you can go ahead and click on file and open images for quick edit if you want to do some quick edits in here or just use this as a plugin to Photoshop or Lightroom. Now Windows users, if you do that renaming and then launch Luminar, it won't even give you that pop-up dialog that we saw. It'll just automatically open up and create that Luminar catalog inside of your pictures folder by default. 
And let's go ahead here. I want to go back to the Finder because I just want to point out some things inside the Luminar Catalog folder. On Windows, it has some other folders in here that store all your cache data. So instead of renaming it and saving it, you'll probably just want to delete that so you can free up some hard drive space. On the Mac, the cache data is stored. You got to go into your users folder and go into library. Now, if you don't see library in your finder, if you right click and click on show view options, make sure that you have show library folder visible. Once you do that, you click in library, then under application support, then com.macfun.luminar3. In this folder here, the entities folder, this folder is where all of your caching is done for your files uh, for all the preview photos so if you want to free up some hard drive space you can go ahead and delete that entities folder and then you'll free up some hard drive space because you won't have all those previews inside of luminar anymore and because you don't have a photo catalog anymore you really don't need those now one last option you may want to do this whole thing that i'm talking about Maybe you do want to have photos in here, but you don't want to have those 100,000 photos that you first threw into Luminar. So go ahead and do the steps that I outlined to get you back to square one here. And then you can go ahead and click on the plus icon so you can add specific folders that you want. And it's not a bad strategy by doing this because then you'll be bringing in smaller amounts of photos. And the program may run a little bit more efficiently for you. Now you may be wondering why I didn't just go up to File, Catalog, and New and create an entirely new catalog. Because that's basically what is going to end up happening. If I go ahead and click on New, I can go ahead and we'll just call this a Test Catalog and hit Save. And that's going to create an entirely new catalog where I can then add individual folders. We can go back to my hard drive and see that Test Catalog right over here. Well, that's definitely another option that you have to start from scratch again. But you may be experiencing some issues with Luminar not even loading, and if you go ahead and rename the catalog or just delete it, it's going to start from scratch, and Luminar is going to build a brand new catalog for you. So that's one reason why, and I wanted to show you all the behind the scenes that you can do to sort of manage your catalogs and try and get a setup that's going to work good for you and your workflow. If you are unsure that you don't want to necessarily delete the catalog that you've built right now, but just want to have it running a little bit more efficiently with a smaller catalog, go ahead and do that. Do a new catalog right from the file menu. And then determine later on if you need to delete that original catalog later with the steps that I outlined in this video. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If so, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel here, and also take a look at my Mastering Luminar 3 online course, where I have an online course that is just dedicated to this program, and I bring you through the ins and outs of using this program catalogs and using it with other software, and I talk about all the filters and everything you need to know about Luminar 3. That's it, and I'll talk to you later.